Hello, I am David W. Parker, and this is Programming Today I Learned, React Series, Episode 17. We're going to be looking at lists and keys, and we'll keep it nice and brief for you. Alright, so what is a list and key? Basically, if you have any kind of item listed out, it doesn't have to be an LI, but anything that's repeated, you're going to have to have a key here. And let's go into why. So basically, it helps React identify what's changed, added, removed, and it uh, should be given inside of elements within an array. So you see this is an array here. And the best way to often pick it is if it's an ID. Uh, so if your data from your database or whatever returns an ID, that's one of the easiest ways to use it. Uh, alternatively, you can use an index. Uh, they should be unique uh, amongst their siblings, but don't need to be unique globally. So uh, if we look at here, we have these five items listed out. And we can actually go ahead and uncomment this and have two of the same, and we won't get any kind of errors out of that. So um, it's good. Obviously, if we don't have this in there, this is the error you will see is each child should have the unique key prop. So that is that. And they only make sense in the context of the surrounding array. Meaning, if you have this li here, and you decide to extract this out into its own uh, item uh, component, and then in here you have, you know, item, that's where you'll put the key is still within the array. You won't put the key in the other component itself. So, fairly simple. It's just a nice little thing to have uh, awareness of, so you're not, you know, confused about why you're getting that error. And there's some pretty good documentation on further on why how it helps uh, React in order to reconcile the children and reconcile how it's building out everything with the Shadow DOM, etc. So that's basically it. Um, if you like what you saw today, please subscribe and sign up for the newsletter as well. Thank you.